Hey everyone, thanks so much for your interest in this unsubscribed healthcare. I want to go over the eval template of the healthcare soap note that I've created for you. This is the most basic and simple package that I have to offer, um, but it's still really functional and really useful. All right, so let's go over starting from the top. At the top, you have the company information. So you have the uh, the company name, the what type of company it is, who is the treating provider, their MPI, the clinic MPI, street address, phone number, fax, as well as email. If you want to, you're able to change who is being treated or who is doing the treatment that day. So you can have PTA, you can have students, you can have uh, the owner as well, or uh, you, the PT. Um, going down, easy enough to type in the name. We'll put myself down. You can put in date of birth. This is not my real date of birth. Right, very easy to uh, fill out. Same as before. Um, when you fill out anything on sheets, you can type over these cells by accident, and nobody likes that. So what I've done is I've made this able to be locked. So if I'm trying to fill this out, I will not be able to incorrectly fill out the header cells. Um, it makes it, uh, you know. A lot easier to use and less likely to make a mistake. We'll say my exact test. This is not my real email. Data service we'll put as today. If you double click, you'll be able to get that. I am a mail. Five 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 five. Okay. Here I've made drop down menus for locations. If you're doing it in the office, you have the office here, or you can do the patient's resume if you're mobile. You can put the patient's address here. If we come to the treatment diagnosis for the ICD-10s, I've made a list that's searchable. So say you know you have a, a neck pain you want to do, so you can do cervicalgia. Uh, if you had lumbar, you'd be able to do lumbar. You know. This list can be added to, but this is kind of what I've just made so far. Um, you can see it's pretty expansive. Uh, I have ankle and foot, knee, hip, wrist and hand, elbow, shoulder, spine, miscellaneous, right? Again, this is easily updated if you really wanted to update it. You can right click, data validation and then you'd be able to come down to the bottom or whatever section you want, put a comma, and then you'd be able to put in a new ICD-10. Right? Click Save. Now you can see, if you go all the way down to the bottom, a new ICD-10 was added there. Okay? Easy enough to remove as well. Um, if you're doing cash and you don't want to have this section here, you can easily come over to the left here and click this minus button. Now you can see that it gets rid of all the extra diagnosis code areas as well as the referring doctor. Subjective areas, I've also created a way for you to uh, put in shortcuts. Um, if you want to, there's a little drop down menu. You would be able to customize this on the original template and it will carry forward for all your treatment um, or patient workbooks that you create from the original template. Pain levels, again, drop down menus if you want them. You don't have to use them. You could type it in easily yourself if you wanted to. Patient goals, same thing. You can uh, create a drop down menu um, and have it all updated. If you're only going to do one patient goal or red flags, you just press the minus button and it makes it a lot cleaner. Same thing for objective, right? This is a simple soap note, so it has subjective, objective, assessment, and planned care. Here, you can put in anything that you want, right? Say, so say you don't use forward head as posture, you use different things to evaluate posture. You can type that into this section, and then it will update it on the uh, treatment note, progress note, as well as discharge note. So it's all very customizable. You can edit it to be whatever you want, and it will change it. Coming down here, if you want to, I have made it so that you can quickly fill this out. So you can say within functional limits, within normal limits, any of that, and it will do it for you. If you want to, you can uh, click and get each individual range of motion. I've put in numbers already for you. Um, 
in every single slot so it makes it easier for you to fill in right um, same thing with manual muscle tests you can click on this if you did four out of five all of them fill in right if you did within normal limits it all fills in so it makes it very easy and it all carries forward onto the next sheet um, say you weren't doing cervical you would just come over here and you could click the minus and it will get rid of all of that right if you were doing upper extremity and you weren't doing lower extremity you could just subtract it here and there you go these are the upper extremity tests so you can come in this area change all of these and again it will change on the next sheet as well if you do this on the original template you can have the test that you normally do here and you won't have to keep changing it on every new patient worksheet workbook that you make again here are the tests for the lower extremity so if we're doing the upper extremity we just come over here and we subtract it the way you can find out what is being grouped is by following this line here and going up to the top so we know that it will clear out from here to here if we click that subtraction so only this comments will be left if we want to get rid of those we just click on that next one again palpation drop down so if you have stuff that's pre-rendered there's a lot of work uh, to make this fast on the front end but once you have it set up to be the way that you want it and the way that you like it it makes it a lot faster for you to you know fill out these evals on your own same thing assessment everybody knows what that is coming down here for short-term goals again you can set the amount of weeks that you expect to achieve these um, drop down menus for if you have common short-term goals and long-term goals that you use again if we want to keep it nice and clean you can subtract it here you can see that the cervicalgia and the ankle pain has already been brought down um, and again if you have drop down menus for the plan of care you can fill that in easily recommended frequency say we're going to do two times a week for eight weeks you can see that the ending date has already been updated and calculated. Nine weeks, changes. 10 weeks, right? You can see that it keeps updating that for you. I already put in some recommended interventions. If you wanted to add your own, again, in the database area, you can do all of this. Here, if we click that, you can see it pre-populates and you're done. The flow sheet also calculates all of the time for you. So I did these simple tests just so that you could see what I'm talking about. So you can pre-make all of these yourself, right? I already put in upper trap stretch, easy enough to do. So come here, do the other side, and I'll show you what I mean by the calculations. Okay. Here, it calculates how much time you've spent on each exercise or uh, each uh, CPT code that you've put down. So for 97110, we have here five minutes. We have here five minutes. And then we also have the upper trap stretch, eight minutes. So it totals it to 18. It does add up all of them for you. And then it also adds up the total treatment time. So it makes it a lot easier for when you want to use the super bill and um, put in your CPT codes for that. Here, if you have a student or anything else, a option down here opens up for co-signed by. Um, but since you are the PT doing the thing, you can see that my license number is brought down. I can add a signature by coming here, insert, drawing, click on this little line, click scribble, and we'll do max, save and close. Now you can see that your signature is there and you just need to readjust it to be in the size that you need all right again if this is cash pay we don't need that doctor's uh, signature so well I mean I guess it depends on your state but here in Massachusetts I don't need that doctor's signature so I can just subtract it and there you go what I've done is I've also gone ahead and coded a little bit for you so if you have the patient's name set up as a folder in your Google Drive, you can click Save Current Sheet as PDF. It will run the script. You'll know it's working when all these things subtract and only the one sheet is left, and then it expands out again. It will have this little pop-up here saying that it's been saved. And if we come over here to my drive, you can see in my patient folder, it now just saved 
at the time that I just saved it with the time and date of that PDF. The only problem that I can't figure out with the coding is that at the bottom here, it also saves all of the notes that I've left for you. If you get comfortable enough with the system, you can delete all the notes and that shouldn't be a problem anymore. But I put those notes in there so that you can understand, you know, what area you have to click and, and you know, make it easier for you. Okay. But that's, that's the eval. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Once you have that initial setup done, it makes it so much faster to do. I use this with my patients and I've gotten it down to a pretty quick time. Um, again, this is the soap note. I do have ones that are specific for lower extremity, upper extremity, neck, vertigo as well. Um, but for the general soap note, I made it so that you could use it for upper or lower extremity um, pretty easily. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Next video will be coming up shortly.